Whenever you're ready. My name is Jamal Harris. This is Colin Montana, public speaking, and this is my informative speech. Ever heard your favorite artist have an altered voice that sounded too perfect? And a song that don't normally sound like that specific artist? Well, this is Autotune. Autotune is an audio processor created by Antares Audio Technologies that was cre released in 1997. This technology is a type of computer software that use a proprietary device to measure and alter the pitch of vocals in a music studio. This expensive software is only compatible with certain operating systems such as Mac, which is Apple, Microsoft Windows, and Linux. Price ranges from $100 to $500 depending on the certain parts that you need in order for this to software to properly function. This type of software was originally intended to disguise or correct inaccuracies in a person's pitch. Dr. Andy Hildebrand invented this pitch correcting software that is now auto-tuned. He started his electri electrical engineering his electrical engineering um, he started his, electri his electrical engineering at the University of U Illinois in 1976. He specialized in experimenting different musical processes while attending the university. Who would have known that all this experimenting at an undergraduate college would have a major impact on the music industry? When he felt he mastered his craft, Dr. Hildebrand wanted to use his software, but couldn't find someone to perform his software on somebody. A year after putting final touches on his software, Dr. Hildebrand met a singer by the name of Sher, who was a singer that heard about his software Dr. Hildebrand took the challenge and history was made in 1998. When the first autotune song was created, Sheer's song <coughs> that heavily used autotune was called Believe. This was a platinum selling song. This is one of the most autotune, most successful autotune songs created. Producers later found out that the vocal chorus was set to the most aggressive set possible. This was the start of what some would say the beginning of a controversial music era. When Autotune was first created, it was highly praised because it was a new sound that people hadn't heard before. After a decade, there wasn't there wasn't the same feeling about the one this one's genius creation. Now in the music industry, Autotune is dominated in all music cultures such as pop, hip hop, R and B, and gospel. Artists such as Taylor Swift, um, T Pain, Keisha, Kesha, Kanye West. Lil Wayne, Rihanna, and Black Eyed Peas have all used autotune, but some artists have abused autotune. Kanye West even made his whole album autotune and received high praise when Rolling Stone named his album the most groundbreaking album of all time. I can use my own experience last semester when I went to a Big Sean, T-Pain, and Jeremiah concert. During the concert, T-Pain was the only artist using autotune at the time. Throughout his, throughout his set, every song he performed had auto-tune. Personally, I didn't see a problem with it because the fans was chanting and joining this concert. Many scholars and celebrities have mixed outlooks on auto-tune, have mixed outlooks on auto-tune and the effect that it now has on artists in the music industry. Some believe that this technology isn't true talent because it alters the voice that makes an artist sound perfect when singing. Others may say there's not a problem with auto-tune because it, make, because it makes them a salary and financially stable. According to the Boston Herald, musicians also use auto-tune as a safety precaution, meaning that if their voice was to crack or go out, they're performing, include their, if their voice was to clap, crack as they're performing, they can use auto-tune to change their voice to fix their problem and have a successful concert. In 2010, Time Magazine included Auto-Tune in their list of the top 50 worst inventions ever made. Jay-Z, who is a music mogul, <coughs> surfaced expressing his outlook on Auto-Tune stating, I just think in hip-hop, when a trend becomes a gimmick, it's time to move on, Jay-Z said in the interview with a Chicago radio station. 
I saw a Wendy's commercial and they're using auto tune. They're joking on it. It's like it's okay. Enough of that. It was a trend and it was cool in the beginning. Some people made great music with it. Now it's time to move on. Expression this should be death of auto tune. So much controversy that Dr. Hildebrand, who was the creator of this, created a blog site where he answers controversial questions concerning the invention. A fan asked him, <coughs> your software and how it's turning non-singers to sing singers who can only perform, perform in the studio, don't you think that's cheating in the public? And he answered, pop music is entertainment like music. Is the actor who plays Batman cheating because he can't really fly? Dr. Hildebrand created one of the most controversial inventions known today. In the end, he had good intentions involved in technology and the in the music industry.